Hello everybody and welcome back to more Nuclear Throne Ultra. Today we are taking part in the weekly, which is pretty interesting. This is a weekly where we get to play as any character, but we start with our regal vision, which is pretty interesting. I like the idea of that. And this is actually part of a weekly competition. Whoever is in the top three gets to add a design for a new gun to the game, which I think is pretty cool. I very highly doubt I'll be in the running for top three because I'm not very good at this game, but I'm willing to give it a go nonetheless. So we're going to be starting out with our good old trusty jaw splitter i'll go with this, uh, the crown start as well for the um inversion crown right off the bat if i can i'm just gonna jump in and see what we can do here i don't know if the yeah i said i don't know if i can pick anything here so regal vision weaponsmith press f to shift ammo type of your primary to the right shifting bullets chain uh, changes ammo cost to change Ooh, interesting so if i'm using different ammo Oh, uh, okay, this is pretty interesting. So, oh, that's really nice. Okay, I really like that. Basically, I'm never going to run out of ammo now. Because as soon as I run out of ammo, I can shift to another ammo type. That's really cool. We've also started with explosive on this thing, which does scare me a little bit, I'll be honest. Unfortunately, we didn't get to go through the, the jaws there, which I was really hoping to. I don't actually know on a weekly if I'm able to do it more than once or if it's one and done here. We're going to take the crown of inversion here, as I said. And I'm probably going to go with mood swing, to be honest, off the bat here. Or, although I could go with bolt marrow. Uh, but I'm only switching weapons, so let's go with this. Uh, so yeah, as weaponsmith here, I can obviously craft my weapon to another one. And I want to be taking stuff that, that gives me the greatest ability to survive here the explosive here is very very nice we've got an inversion area there old rifle but yeah i'm gonna stick with this weapon for a little bit at least and then change over once i feel i'm ready but i don't want to be weapon crafting quite as of yet but yeah i'm going down the inverted areas here for more weapon mods uh realistically is the main reason I'm annoyed I didn't get to go through that area, though, to get my, um... Oop, inverted big bandit, whereabouts are you? Good, good, I got you. This guy can absolutely wreck me, so let's be careful of that not happening. Okay, good. See, now I can do F, change over my ammo type to another ammo type. And now I still have ammo to work with. Good, good, good. I'm actually going to swap over to bullet ammo. Kraken. Good, good, good. I like this idea a lot. The regal vision on this guy seems very, very good for us. Um, and what am I going to take here? So I could take the new sharp stress. The new sharp stress is pretty decent. But I think I'm going to go with extra feet off the bat here. Because extra feet is really, really good. And I like the extra movement speed and stuff. Oh, hello. Didn't see you there. But yeah, basically we're going to be swapping weapon, like weapon smithing. Once things um, either run out of ammo, which is unlikely, or um, once we get to the point where the weapon just isn't really doing what we want it to do anymore for us, then we'll start crafting. Good, good. Inverted areas all the way here for extra weapon mods, although the danger is definitely there. Uh, let's take strong spirit here. We want to be surviving as long as we can. You may also notice that I'm using lossful scaling here to play at 240 FPS. Um, while it isn't actually improving the FPS of the game, this game does run at pretty consistent um, 60. It's just smoother at higher than 60, which I like. So why not? Lossful scaling for the win, baby. Lossful scaling for the win. Alright, let's grab that. Okay. I see you up there, fellas. Oh my lord, that's a, that's a lot of guys. It's okay, though, we got it, we got it. Quickly grab that as well. We want as many rads as we can. Yeah, we're just going to try and go as far as we can. So taking stuff that's defensive is going to be ideal for us here. Um, so, go through here. We could go courtyard, but I think it's a little early for courtyard, potentially. I could end up screwing myself up if I'm not careful. Get some rads from that. And just carry on to the next area. Obviously, the inverted areas do propose a decent amount of additional danger, which is kind of scary. 
I think overall, we're handling it reasonably well. I need the uh, one where I can add more weapon mods onto each weapon. An extra few would go a long way here. I'm actually going to use my, uh, my secondary weapon here. The mini missiles again. Y'all know I hate those mini missiles. I'm actually surprised he's not dead yet. Like, I guess uh, we've done quite a lot of damage to him. Okay. So I think I'm going to craft at this point here and see what we get. We got ourselves the Brox to the... I don't even know what that is. Oh, okay. I like this. <laughs> I don't care what it is. I like it. Um, and I can actually switch ammo type on this over to Assault as well. I really like that idea. I do wonder if I get like Recycle Gland, does it technically count as still firing bullet ammo? I'm not entirely sure how that would work. Um, Eagle Eyes is god tier still. Absolutely love it. But yeah, because we've got Mood Swing, this weapon is probably something I'll stick with for a good little bit here. Um, swap ammo type over again here. <laughs> do you know what's interesting? It keeps swapping out ammo type. Okay, why, why do I not have enough ammo to fire this thing? What's, 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 what's going on here? I'm confused now. Hmm. I've caught myself in a pickle here. It says I don't have enough ammo to fire it, but I feel like I do. <laughs> I feel like I very, very clearly do, and I'm at a position where uh, I'm kind of stuck for how to get by here. I'm going to take a gamble and just try and run by. And grab whatever weapon might come my way here. Okay, so we're going to have to craft again here, which I'm not pleased about, to be honest. But we were stuck with that weapon right there, and I didn't want to get stuck with it forever. Okay. Cool. It's so using a lot of bullet ammo pair. But getting back muscle now would be would be pretty good, I think. There's a few there's a few things that'd be really good for us here. Um I think Rhino Skin is just the obvious one here when we're trying to play for safety. I don't often play for safety, this is quite different for me. This is quite unique for me. Good. Yeah, we're using about an ammo pickup pair shot with this thing, which isn't ideal. I'm not looking forward to when we run out of ammo. Dude, get out of the way. Get, get out of here. Get out of here. Got electric weapon, the striker. I think I'm going to combine these two and see what we get. We get the missile bomb, which is a bit sketchy. I'm a bit scared of a, of a missile bomb weapon, especially when we've only got half HP here. Um, this is replace mod, unfortunately. Although, do I want to replace explosive? Oh, honestly, I'm going to replace explosive with shotgun, because explosive can get me killed and shotgun can't. <laughs> Simple as that. I don't want to I don't want to get killed by stupid stuff, so... Okay, we we're on the boss now, right? Holy shit, this thing is uh, way wilder than I thought it'd be, and it's it seems incredibly good. Okay, I, I am very nearly dead. That was very, very close. Frost is another really good one we could put on instead of Swarm, maybe. Frost. Uh, I, actually, I'll do Frost instead of Shotgun, to be honest. Shotgun's good, but I think Frost is going to be better for us here. And then we got Lightning Striker here. I'm going to... Craft again here. We got double-sided blade. That could be good for us. That could be good. I'm very worried about my current HP, though. Um, because, I don't know. Im this is good for safety, but impact wrists with looping is so good. But then again, tough shell. Everything that deals more than two damage to you deals one less. Nothing can deal more than eight. Probably go with tough shell, to be honest. It's just the safety of it is is really, really high. Also, the fire rate on this thing's kind of nuts. That's some of that healing I desperately, desperately needed. Lovely stuff. Kraken gun as a backup. Sorry, sheepy. I don't much care for you right now. But yeah, this is the most I've ever focused on actually trying to play well. So, this is a whole new era. It's a whole new era. I should do the dailies and stuff more often, to be honest. I don't really do them very often, and they are pretty fun. Right. 
Inverted area once again, even though we don't need the weapon mods anymore, you still get more rads typically from an inverted area. They're a bit scarier, but... I think with a melee weapon, especially one like this, we've actually not got too much to worry about apart from like things like the boss. The boss is like my main worry, and we've managed to take him out with ease. We got blood there as well. I kind of like blood. Uh, blood over swarm, maybe? I think blood over swarm for safety. Blood and uh, frost are two that are pretty good defensively. So I think both of those are a good idea. Because they will delete projectiles or stop the enemy from moving, which I think is pretty good. Okay, what do we want to go for here? Alkaline saliva is good. Euphoria, slow enemy bullets. When you get hit, you gain invincibility for a short time. I think we go with that, yeah. But we're trying to go full safety here, and I think that gives us a lot of safety. I mean, having iframes is pretty gnarly in a game like this. It's going to allow us to be a bit more aggressive up close and personal. And it's going to allow us to grab HP, because if there's like three HP drops, we could literally run into an area where we know we're going to get hit and use the iframes to grab the extra HP and come out of it with more HP in the end. I think it's pretty ideal. Them are all right. At this point, do I want to go courtyard for an extra crown? I don't even know what extra crown I'd want is the problem. I'm really, really liking this right now. This this, this, this weapon, I'm probably going to stick with for a little while until it falls off in damage. Because right now, the safety that it's giving me is uh, very, very nice. I'm a little worried about this boss because this boss is... Um, not as simple as you'd want it to be, but the damage we're outputting right now is good. There you go. Oh, wow, that was a... I didn't realize that boss did such a big explosion when it died. That was a... Not, not ideal. But Tough Shell helped us out there, I'm pretty sure. So we don't want to actually go to the cloud area because we already have our Regal Vision. You may be wondering, um, yeah, why am I not using my Regal Vision right now, but I don't really need to anymore. I, I could do with crafting a better secondary weapon right now. That's kind of my, my next goal. That was really bad. Ooh, this is a really, really bad spot to be in right now. Yeah, we're good. That was kind of close. I played that one a little wrong. Th this is definitely a, a really good weapon to have as sort of safety. we got a suck cannon there. Um, boiling veins is probably another good one for safety. Last wish is also really good. Bouncy fat could be interesting. But then there's power craving that we've been talking about wanting. I'm over power craving. I realize it's not the smartest choice. The electricity here is not ideal for us. Imagine this with long arms, then. This doesn't even have long arms on it right now. It'd be wild. Okay. Let's grab the morph cannon as our secondary. We'll put shotgun on it. And then we'll... do that, I think, and grab whatever we got here. The plasma quake. That's pretty good. Okay, things are going well. Well enough. The Plasma Quake could be really good for us here. I like this area having uh, the ability to... Having the ability to not have to worry about the stupid webbing on the floor is really, really convenient. But yeah, we don't want to go through to the Cloud area because we just don't need it right now. I'm not quite sure what happened there, but I'm alive apparently. Holy shit. Okay, this Thunder Quake thing, whatever it's called, is uh, Plasma Quake, sorry. It's pretty awesome. I think we're going to stick with that for a little bit. What quality is that? Nine? Only nine? Wow, this thing seems amazing. I guess it's because it's got short range. Right, what do I go for here? Um, in every area, a weapon mod spawns. Double weapon mod effectiveness. Combining adds a mod. Okay, that's really good to start with. 
Increase weapon pickup range, you drop weapons at your feet. Dropping a weapon makes you immune for a short duration and reloads both of your weapons. Fire shots when picking up and picking up a weapon costs 50% less ammo. Portal spits out a new random weapon. Okay, that's if you want to swap weapon a lot. When upgrading a weapon, you also gain two armor. That's really good too. Increase reload speed and reduce ammo cost for all weapons excluding melee. Decrease melee swing rate. Your active becomes, uh, change your weapon into one of the same tier. You can go through all um, available weapons. When you change or swap weapon, spawn morph on your crosshair. It's pretty good too. All weapon drops give you health, rads, and more ammo for each type. Picking up a weapon. I think I'm going to go for the weapon mod effectiveness one, you know. Although... It, it's difficult to say. It's really difficult to say. I think I'm going to try it, even though it's not the best of the best. I just like the idea. Weapon mod effectiveness plus... um. What's it called that we've got on as well? Mood Swing? It just seems like a combo for some really, really good damage and ability to like freeze enemies and stuff. But I think cannot be ignored. Through the inverted area. So on this we can go with Morph or HP and Ammo Drop. We'll go with Morph, I think. Sword gun. I think I'm really happy with the two weapons I have right now. I've realized as this character that's not the best, but later on we can we can start start merging more things. I just think right now this is really, really good. So let's go and uh whack on you. Really didn't mean to get the inverted version of this guy, I'll be honest, but it is what it is. We'll see if we die. Yeah. Had a feeling that would uh that would Swoop by pretty fast. I don't even remember what the inverted version of that guy does, but we don't have to think about it, so that's fine. <laughs> okay. Hello. Do we want to buy anything from you? I can't even talk to you for some reason. So can I buy these on a weekly? Also, this shop has been majorly upgraded, I see. Toggle curse on your weapon, interesting. Uh, ultra weapon chest. Reroll weapons of the same tier. So I don't think I can buy any permanent upgrades here. Plus one max HP, I see. Oh, it, and we can buy a mutation. This is interesting. Um, reduce IDP vans this run. Costs 14. That's quite hefty, but I'm going to do that because I don't like the IDP vans. They, they annoy the hell out of me. Um, random weapon mod, also pretty good. We've got four on both of these though, so I think we're, I think we're fine. Um, right, let's get out of here. We could go with reload speed, double your portal essence. Ah, we'll, we'll, we'll leave all of that for now. I'm pretty happy with what we got there. Yeah, I do definitely wish right now that I had, um, what's it called? Um, the one that makes enemies' bodies, corpses fly everywhere. I think that'd be really, really good right now. Ow. Go through here. My god. Yeah, we don't quite have the AoE I'd like right now. Frost Axe ain't bad. Okay. Well, we're getting weapon mods like crazy, so we can pick up a new weapon and mod it up pretty fast. We just gotta find the right new weapon, I guess. And remember, we can switch ammo if the uh, we run out of ammo for this a bit too fast. And where's our uh, cursed skull thing? Did I destroy it? Maybe I did. I, was, I meant to go through the cursed skull thing. I think I destroyed it. Either that or I, I accidentally skipped it on the last stage. That's also plausible. Um, lightning shotgun. Cool. 
could be good. The Plasma Quake's still really, really good, though. Let's stick with it. Um, do we want to bother with the courtyard? I don't think we do. Let's, let's just keep going this way and see what we can find. Okay. This area is awesome looking. <laughs> Inverted Vulture is going to be a nightmare, but we've got Freeze, so... Yeah, we killed him extremely fast. That freeze was pretty awesome. Super Needle. Not as good as this double-sided thing. This thing's amazing. What we got going on here? Double Energy Lance. Very, very slow fire rate on that thing, unfortunately. This is an area where I think I could easily die, so I've got to be very, very careful here. And that has been very swiftly proven to us that we could easily die in here. A bit of HP there, good. Lightning Nunchuck Swarm Gun. That is pretty awesome. Okay, I'm going to try out the Swarm Gun. Excuse me? How do I... Uh, 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 wait. Are you, oh, you're just back in my spawn, I see. It's like, how the hell do I get over there? It's just my spawn. Dude. Why well, gotta be like this? Get out of my spawn. The swarm gun I'm interested in, because... Oh, I can get double herming on it. Where's my swarm gun? There it is. Excuse me? Now that the swarm poisons as well, like, over time... I know the swarm already has herming, but... Who's not a fan of more herming? It's... It's honestly not the best. I thought it would be able to hit a lot more enemies at once and do some, like, really good AoE, but it's not really doing that. It's not really doing that for me right now. But I can just kind of do that and then... Let the poison, like, do some damage and stuff, which is kind of nice. I mean, actually, do you know what? It, it's it's not as bad as I, was, I, as I thought. Frost Sword Gun, though. That could be really good. I'm still going to stick with this, though. Inverted area this way seems very risky, but what's done is done. Right, just use my melee weapon to keep myself... At bay here, because otherwise I'm gonna die for some stupid shit. There's a sniper out there doing some gnarly stuff to me. What the hell is going on here? This is so many shots. You need to go, Mr. Sniper. You've been annoying me for ages. It's just the fact that it has such strong herming makes it really effective at just, like, when there's a few enemies left. When it's, like, a massive group, it doesn't seem so good, but when there's, like, a few enemies left, it seems amazing. Super Penetrator? Hmm. I'm gonna, I'm gonna grab this and do that and see what we get. The Hyper Launcher. That could be good. It's a bit dangerous, but could be good. Oh my god, so many purple bullets. Inverted box that I've managed to hit somewhere around, I don't really know where. Oh, there it is. Ah, one of these was an assassin. I knew one of them was going to be a goddamn assassin.
Okay. I just blew myself up as well. Great, that's exactly what I wanted to do. Just keep our distance from things, we should be fine. But yeah, hyper launcher thing, I'm definitely going to want to swap out soon. I just need the right weapon to merge it with to make sure it doesn't lower the tier. That guy is uh, not welcome to my birthday party, thank you. Neither are you. My goodness. I'm going to go through here, I think. Right, what weapons we got going on here? We got, ooh, 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 ooh. Excuse me. Double laser minigun. Um, yes, please. I think we'll merge them two together and see what we get. The splinter lance. Hmm. Not really seeing how this thing's good, to be honest. Um, I guess we'll just try it out. Splinter lance. Ah! I see now. <laughs> that makes more sense. Unfortunately, we don't have like a really good boss killer right now, so if I'm not careful, I'm going to die pretty quick to this dude. Right, we're taking out most of the annoying enemies here. It's not great. Okay, we got him. Definitely don't. Not not a big fan of the Splinter Lance. It's just we, with, without a strong arm or whatever you call it, the the longer arms, it's not it's not good. Gatling lightning crossbow. Splinter shovel. We're just getting a lot of melee weapons right now, which is kind of annoying because we already have a very good melee weapon. So Lightning Cannon. Okay, Lightning Cannon should be pretty good with the amount of Herming we've got on it. I think this will be a, a decent room clearer sort of thing. Got some of the cloud enemies appearing here. Seems to be doing a good job. The only thing is, it doesn't have any sort of piercing. If I had piercing, it could like... Go through a few enemies before hitting a wall. Be ideal. The damage it's doing is pretty good. Don't know what this thing is, but... Okay, it's out of ammo now. I've lost my sword. Where's my sword? There you go. I got the bouncer charge laser. Seems decent. I think I need to swap over to... Yeah, with bullet ammo, this thing seems pretty good. Although the charge in it, obviously... Makes it a little harder to use. But bouncer lasers are just really, really good, so... Why is it not charging? There you go. Wait, no, it's not charging. What the hell? It's just refused to charge anymore. It's annoying. Holy hell, what the hell was that guy? Get you out of here. A super trident, again, with a melee range, isn't ideal. Yeah. It's the range on it that, that limits me. We just keep getting melee weapons. It's, it's kind of annoying. Okay, Big Bad Bat, really not the time for you to join into the fight, considering I genuinely don't think we can hit you. Unless you get really close, which luckily you are doing consistently. But if you stay at your distance, you're a nightmare for us. We got you. 
Right, chest. I don't know what that is, but I want it. Oh, dude, there's a guy here. Why are you there? I didn't realize there was more enemies left. My bad. Right, I guess I'll stick with this thing, considering right now it's cursed. <laughs> Swaps between all ammo types. Makes our regal vision a little pointless, but... It seems good, but a little dangerous. We could go like that. Mega Incinerator. Mega Incinerator, considering we have Mood Swing, is going to be pretty good for us here, I think. And with this Herming, dude. Oh, yeah, okay. This is... I think I think we found it. I think we found, found it. Right, go through the regular portal this time, I think. Yeah, this is... Very, very nice. Mega Incinerator is beautiful. Oh, excuse me. I got poisoned. Damn it. I'm pretty sure I'm just getting poisoned until I go down to 1 HP now, don't I? Man, that's brutal. That is a savage, savage, savage thing to happen. I didn't even see you. Back over to regular weaponry for a little bit. The freezing makes these guys, I wouldn't say easy, but a lot easier to deal with. I like that a lot. Still going regular way. Um, on the incinerator, do we want to change anything? I definitely want frost on it, so we'll go with that. Wasn't expecting you, but there you go. Oh, we need to actually check as well. Um... Go back through here. Yes, there you go. Crown Vault's heal too. It's very nice. We've got increase the value of radiation. Give 10 portal lessons. We've also got unlock the mutation reroll station. Don't even know where that would be. And we've got the shark. We've got the shark and the assassin to go for, which I don't think are that hard. We can probably go for those. Cool, cool. Right. We keep moving on. I don't know why I went through here. I still want to stick with the crown I have. Thank you. Okay. We should be set up to kill this guy pretty easily. We're automatically going to loop here as well. We don't have to destroy the generators, which is nice. This thing should absolutely destroy him, I think. Oh my god. What on earth am I witnessing here? There you go. We got him. We got him. Didn't get quite as much ammo back as I was hoping there, I'll be honest. Why do I have a sheep here? What's this sheepy doing? Damn it. Okay, we're good, we're good, we're good. Yeah, who's the, who's this sheep fella? What are you doing? Are you just our friend now? Okay, we have 40 portal lessons this time, so... Okay, so, we can take max HP, plus one mutation, I think, is what we have to go for here. We have exactly 40. I feel like you have to go for that, right? Um, 
This is tricky. Ecstatic Fist is really good, but I think Impact Wrist is the way to go. Impact Wrist on loop is just so goddamn good. Basically, any small enemy just gets immediately taken out. It also opens up so much space to work with, too, which is really nice. It allows me to use a much wider variety of weaponry, I think. Yeah. Glad I got it. Impact Wrists, you are god tier on loop. I think I'm doing pretty well, though, so far. You can see, I told you, if I, if I try... Okay, these, these dudes are on crack. This is like my first time in a long time going loop 2, so there's probably going to be new content and stuff here that I've never even seen before. Can I give my dude like another gun? Just using a kind of crappy blood weapon. Wombo Combo Sucker Punch. That seems fun. Um, I think I'm going to combine these two, see what we get. Golden, really? I got a golden jaw splitter? That is not even close to what I was looking for. Smart minigun. Smart minigun could be fun. I'll take it. Kind of all my fires at whatever's closest to me, I guess. Mom on vacation. I didn't even realize that was a thing. That's what I'm saying about like loop two. It's all new stuff for me. Took a while to kill her, but. We got her in the end. Ultra Telepatha. That uses rads, doesn't it? Yeah. I don't know what's the max uh, weapon like size I can merge. 21 heavy double minigun. We're getting some good stuff here. We're getting some good stuff. We're happy with all that. I need to go to the fish area. I, I think I missed it again. Yeah, this with this with the homing on it and stuff is uh, very very nice. Is that guy on a moped? What the hell am I looking at? <laughs> I think that guy was on a moped. Okay. Things are sketchy, but I'm liking it. Frost chain gun. Dude, I'm seeing weapons I've literally never seen before. I'm pretty sure there's like weapons that are exclusive to certain loops or something, because yeah, there's some weapons here that I've literally never witnessed. Like, this thing's wild. This thing's so goddamn good. <laughs> kind of sad I don't have back muscle right now, to be honest. I would love to have more ammo. But yeah, literally I just fire like a tiny little bullet, it just like kills everything, it's great. Let's be careful of that. Just gotta be really, really cautious about when to pull out my uh, melee weapon to destroy shots. 
It's very, very important. Dude, 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 dude. This guy, this guy's got to go. It's ruining everything. Ultra suck cannon. You don't have to tell me twice. Super missile cannon. Oh, dude, there's an assassin back there. I didn't even see him. God damn, I'm getting hit by everything. Right, I gotta try out the ultra suck cannon. I've just got to. Where was it? That could be good, but it uses rads, right? And the burns around it pretty quick. Super shank gun. Amazing. This this heavy minigun, even though it burns the ammo ridiculously fast, I still think it's pretty good. That was a bad idea. <laughs> that was a really bad idea. Oh my god, I almost killed myself. <laughs> oh no, no. Ah, I got ran over. Not my intention, obviously. Dude, these laser guys, because I can't block their shots, are actually doing a number on me right now. Okay. Jaw obliterator. So if I if I like switch ammo type on this, is it? It might be better to use a different ammo type on this thing, you know. I don't know. Maybe maybe not. Maybe not actually. Bends the assault pretty quick, but I think it bends for everything else a little bit faster. Bush box. I think we got everything there. We good? We good. My god, I, we're surviving way longer than I would have thought. I feel like I'm doing pretty well for the weekly here. I think I'm actually going to sw swap out one of my weapon mods here as well. Um... Replace blood, yeah, with more ammo drop and stuff. I feel like the potential of, of more ammo and HP drop is like really, really good for the melee weapon. Dude, that guy's rough. Not good HP right now. Oh my god, I'm probably dead here. That was sketchy as fuck. Ghost Blade. What is the Ghost Blade? It's very, very slow. Kraken Disperse Gun. Pretty cool. Definitely still want that. Kraken Disperse Gun. Let's just see how this thing does against an enemy. Not, not good enough, sadly. Not good enough. It needs to be killing that guy basically straight away for me to want to take it with me. And it didn't. Stay away from me, you fool. Yeah, this thing having so much extra ammo drop on it is the only thing that's making it even remotely viable. Yeah, I see you doing your little bullshit. Die. 
we might even make it to loop three here. I don't want to. I don't want to speak too soon here, but things are going reasonably well. This weapon is amazing despite its ridiculous ammo consumption. This thing would be so good on steroids with the less ammo consumption thing you can get going on. Damn it. I really don't like this golden sniper. He needs to stop. Dude, hitting an enemy and it dropping like fucking 10 ammo drops right there and then is so good. I wonder if inverted areas give you more score. I'm curious. Okay, careful. So much going on, it's impossible to follow. I don't even know what, what have I what have I activated here? I'm fighting a wall apparently. I don't know what's going on anymore. I'm just gonna ignore that wall base thing for a little bit here, so I can try and get some health and ammo to fight it with. Because for right now I don't know what's going on. The one thing I didn't get this run, which would have been really good, is Plutonium Hunger. I never I never grabbed Plutonium Hunger, which I regret. Ultra Shovel. Oh my god, Ultra Shovel do be good. Right, whatever the hell this thing is, it's gotta die. Does it just, like, disappear through the wall? I see. Did I kill it? Is it dead? No. He's got a lot of health. Okay, I killed it. Don't know what the hell that thing was, but it's dead. Oh my god. HP and ammo, I'm gonna take that over Kraken. Wait, wait. Triple HP and ammo and frost, I think, is like the ultimate setup. Whoa, what the hell? What is that ultra lollipop? I mean, it's literally an insane degree of, of, uh, of amount better, so I'm going to give it a go. I'll probably regret this, losing my, uh, my consistent weapon here. I don't know what the hell is happening here. What the hell is this? Okay, well, it's teleporting me around. I I don't know. I wasn't even remotely prepared for this. Dude, stop teleporting me. What the hell was that? I've never seen that before. Was completely ill prepared for it, and I picked up a weapon that I wasn't familiar with right before it happened because I thought I'd be fighting the boss. Okay, well there you go. We did much better than we've ever done before because I was actually trying really hard there. Um, I don't know what my score is. So I don't know how well I did, but let's uh, let's see. Okay. Um, well I'm not in the top three unfortunately, uh, but I did, dude, dude. Someone got 25,000 kills and got to loop six. Man, I, I I never stood a chance. I got three. I mean, I made it on the top of the board. I, I, I beat the developer. Yes, I beat the developer. Okay, that's all I care about. Right. Um, I, re I reckon I did okay there. Uh, a little bit of loop two. I would have loved... How did this guy do loop one but 4,000 kills? There must be like a way of farming kills I didn't know about. Um, dude, that's a lot of crowns. Why'd this guy use so many crowns? Interesting. Either way, hope you guys enjoyed, and I'll see you guys in the next one.